The engine purred softly as I settled into the driver's seat, ready to embark on a long, solitary journey. It was a moonless night, the kind that whispers secrets and stirs unease in the heart. The road stretched out before me, a ribbon of darkness cutting through the silent countryside. Little did I know that this night drive would take a sinister turn, forever haunting my memories. As I navigated the winding roads, the only company I had was the soft hum of the car and the occasional hooting of an owl. The familiar scenes of the countryside blurred by, shrouded in the darkness that enveloped everything. Uneasiness settled in, a nagging feeling that something wasn't right, but I dismissed it as mere imagination playing tricks on my mind. Time passed, and the night grew deeper. I found myself in an unfamiliar, desolate area, far from any signs of civilization. My heart quickened its pace as I realized that my GPS had lost signal. Panic gripped me as I realized I was truly alone, adrift in an abyss of endless roads. Suddenly a thick fog rolled in, swallowing the surroundings in a ghostly haze. My grip tightened on the steering wheel as my visibility diminished, reducing my world to a few meters of eerie whiteness. I slowed down, my eyes scanning the surroundings for any signs of life or directions. That's when I saw it, a dim, flickering light in the distance. Relief washed over me as I steered towards the glimmering beacon of hope. As I approached, I discovered an old, dilapidated gas station standing eerily alone amidst the fog. Its weathered sign swung creakily in the wind, casting an ominous shadow. Hesitant but desperate for assistance, I pulled up to the gas pump. To my surprise, the station appeared deserted, devoid of any signs of life. My voice echoed through the stillness as I called out, hoping for a response. Silence greeted me in return, broken only by the haunting creaks of the abandoned structure. Suddenly, a sense of being watched consumed me. A chill ran down my spine, and I turned sharply, my eyes scanning the empty surroundings. Shadows danced in the mist, teasing my senses. Fear clutched at my heart, urging me to leave. But a strange curiosity compelled me to explore further. I cautiously stepped out of the car, my footsteps muffled by the damp ground. As I approached the gas station's entrance, the sound of an old radio crackled to life, sending a shiver down my spine. I followed the sound, drawn towards the flickering glow of a dusty room. The sight that greeted me froze me in my tracks. A solitary figure sat hunched over a worn-out table, surrounded by piles of yellowed newspapers. The figure's back faced me, but an unnatural stillness filled the air. My voice faltered as I called out, Excuse me, I'm lost. Can you help me? Without warning, the figure slowly turned its head, revealing a pale, lifeless face etched with sorrow. Its eyes were empty voids, devoid of any emotion. Terror surged through my veins as I realized I had stumbled upon something otherworldly, a ghostly presence trapped in this forsaken place. The figure's lips parted, emitting a low, guttural whisper. Leave now, before they find you.